3.6 is another investigation. How does the circulatory system work? And in this simulation, students are going to simulate blood flow, the heart and the lungs, and to a big toe. Pump, 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 pump. We have two students that are the heart, two students that are the lungs, and two big toes. And then we have the rest of the students that are red blood cells. And as they pass by different areas, they will pick up an oxygen card or a carbon dioxide card to show how um, blood flows and how it gets rid of carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. Pump, 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 pump. And the students like this because we start off slow, then when we are exercising we speed up so they're running through the simulation, then we slow down when they're sleeping so they can see how the blood really flows through the entire body. And then we read and we connect that model again to the actual circulatory system. They read about the different chambers of the heart, they read about veins, the arteries, ventricles, atria, what your pulse actually is, and how all those parts of the circulatory system help to pump your blood throughout your body. And they also look at the color of the blood because in the simulation they had blue cards and they had red cards. So we read about it, but they've already experienced it in the model that we just made. This is a really good example in how PBIS, we do the activity first, and then we read about it. The kids can make a connection because they've done the activity, they've felt and seen how it works. And then when they read about it, those big words make sense and they understand it better. 